thanks for watching my updated video on my 3D printer. We've got ourselves a working printer. Um, it's been just shy of 10 days since I put the order through. Um, it's up, it's running, it's tuned. Um, it's working very, very well. I'm very, very happy. Uh, last night I did some uh, calibration cubes. Uh, I was have was having quite a bit of issue with um, some banding and some adhesion problems. Um, you can sort of see, especially on this sort of part. Um, yeah, it was really struggling to work last night. Um, once I did get it up and going, I was using the tape that was supplied by the factory, which you get this lovely roll of yellow bed tape. Um, I tried quite a few different um, uh, heat bed settings, um, couldn't get it to adhere at all. Um, jumped over to the, the blue painter's tape that uh, quite a lot of people do recommend online, and um, instant gratification. Uh, went from having issues like this uh, and also really having to print hard into the bed, uh, as you can sort of see, getting quite a large first step to. Um, yeah, having instant success with really, really good quality walls, um, no inclusions, no mist, anything. I will back off the, the first layer a little bit. I am still getting just a little bit of an imprint um, at, at the bottom there. Um, but yeah, all in all, incredibly happy with the purchase so far. Would highly, highly recommend the kit to anybody that's looking uh, at getting into 3D printers or already has one that um, they may not be um, so happy with. Um, this is very well set out, very easy to put together. Um, it's my first 3D printer and um, yeah, it's had some pretty good success with it straight off the bat. So, okay, a couple of little things that I will talk about which um, have, been, uh, have been pretty good for me. Um, Okay, first things first, uh, I was a little concerned with the, the fan on the head. That's actually working really well. I'm having no issues with it overheating or any heat soak up in the top here. I will probably design something a little bit nicer, but it's certainly not that important to start with. Um, something that is uh, quite important, the spool holder that it's supplied with, um, probably not the greatest setup. Also, the other edge on this spool you can't see is actually going to be cracking, a big piece missing, and I'm getting some different tensions uh, on the wire going up through the head. So I have already started working on, just quickly knocked that up in Cubify and threw that through the printer today. That's just a skateboard bearing, uh, and that's just going to fit straight in the side, um, and then mount it on a little stand. So um, I am working on that at the moment, which is going to be a lot better. Um, my daughter's second birthday is coming up and she's absolutely loving Minnie Mouse at the moment so I just quickly knocked up a cookie cutter and cubi cubify as well um, which is also a pretty good torch test because 12 mil high, dead straight walls, inside and out yeah, almost perfect um, adhesion with the bed at the moment is just fantastic so that's great um, what else? okay, uh, one other concern I did have originally was the crack in the plastic it's getting worse um, as time goes by a little bit more vibrations I am seeing that starting to spread a little bit I don't think it's going to get too much further it's certainly not um, impacting on the print but please guys when you're putting it together be incredibly careful with the um, acrylic it's not the best material for the frame but it certainly is working very very well um, okay so uh, bed temperature I am having a few issues with bed temperature. Um, it seems that when they've gone ahead and programmed the board, they haven't enabled PID loop on the on the bed temperature. So I am I've got this set at 60 degrees for the bed temperature for the PLA they've supplied. Uh, I get terrible adhesion problems and curling if I don't run the bed. So I'm having to run the bed with the PLA. I was hoping to not really have to run it with the PLA, but doesn't really matter it's working perfectly getting great adhesion but what I am seeing is a lot of surfing around with temperature um, up to five degrees at the moment it's set as bang bang um, it doesn't look like uh, I can go through any of the, the programs and, and change that I have sent an email to Sun Hokey for um, a copy of the code so go in there and activate that within the code um, and uh, and turn the PID loop on um, and that will have yeah, most of the problems on the print surface pretty well dialed. 
Um, something else that um, has been a little bit of an issue um, is the actual Bowden, Bowden head. It looks awesome um, on paper. I have had a few issues with it. Um, it hasn't been perfect. Um, first one is, uh, is this little brass ferrule on the top. Um, where your you know, silicon tube attaches to the top or your Teflon tube attaches to the top. That all works lovely. Feeds the, the wire in through the bottom, up through here. Then there's two steps inside here. Um, and the plastic was grabbing a lot um, and actually causing some pretty bad irregularities in the, in the print. So I took it out of here uh, and up on the inside here I just ran a drill bit through the inside and put a small chamfer on the inside of... So if you take all this out up through here so it now glides through perfectly. While I did that I had the ferrule off um, and I ran around the inside of it with a scalpel uh, and put uh, again another chamfer on the whole way around and now it glides through absolutely perfectly and that has made a massive difference to my print quality. I went from going with you know really bad you know Z banding and so it's probably not the worst one of them um, some really bad Z banding um, to um, yeah really beautiful walls um, pretty much just by doing that one mod so um, yeah, that has made a massive difference for me. Something else I will be upgrading in the future is um, the the size of the, the cog here. It's quite a large step. Uh, I would think that that cog would probably be great for 3 mil extruder. Um, I'm going to go to a, a smaller teeth size um, to try and get slightly better grip and a little bit better feed rate out of the 1.75. Um, but certainly livable for the moment and uh, I can happily wait for one of those to arrive so it's not going to stop me having fun. Um, one other thing on the print head is the speed of the wire. Um, the wire speeds off by around about 10 or 11 percent so um, for every sort of you know, it's something you're going to have to go ahead and program through the wire speed needs to come up because the, the fill rate wasn't quite perfect so um, something that's easy to do. So that's that's good. Um, software went in nice and easy. That was uh, an easy thing to do. Um, yeah, um, I had no issues with um, the wiring. Everything was the correct directions. All the end stops worked perfectly straight off the bat. Uh, I didn't need to reverse any of the servo motors. All that worked absolutely perfectly out of the box. So well done, Sun Hokey, on that for sure. Um, I had a friend of mine who's very experienced with 3D printers come around and help me with the calibration. It was fantastic having someone helping here um, just for the, the initial setup. Um, showed me how to use Prontoface and Slice 3R. Um, and yeah, within a handful of minutes we had it uh, and up and running. So um, yeah, all in all, fantastic kit. Uh, highly, highly recommend the kit to, to anybody who's even thinking about getting this. Um, really does punch above its weight price-wise. Um, and I think the quality of the parts um, really do speak for themselves so far. So, again, thanks for watching the, the video. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions or you need some help, please fire it at me and I'll do my best to help you guys along. Alright, thanks for watching.